Today on the channel, a deluxe Funko Pop Gizmo from the Gremlins. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for a rare Funko Pop unboxing and review. And today on the channel, from the Gremlins movie, we've got the Walmart exclusive, Gizmo. But for all your Funko Pop needs, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. I assume they sell Funko Pops because like I said, it's very rare that I pick up Funko Pops. And honestly, I feel they're a little bit of a fad. Actually, not a little bit. They are a big time fad. Uh, I think there will be some people that love them forever, but then there's going to be some, I think over time, practically worthless. Uh, they are very cool. They're great for desk displays, uh, little displays and stuff. But man, there's some absolute maniacs out there. And who am I to call anybody a maniac? I get it. Uh, but there's some that have walls and walls of pops. And it's just a, a slippery, slippery slope. And it's a road I've never truly went down because it seems like there's just unlimited pops released. I think every day there's a new pop released. I remember uh, the Guinness Book of World Records or something like that, which I'm very familiar with, as you guys know. They had something like a guy had every Funko Pop ever. I can't imagine how many Funko Pops have been made so far. Have they made their millionth pop yet? Has to be getting close, but I am a bit of a novice. I don't collect these, but you guys know I dabble. I'm dangerous. I dabble uh, really in the Motorhead related ones, Iron Maiden related ones, uh, and a few here and there, but it's very rare for me to buy Funko Pops. I got another, a few other things I collect, I guess. Uh, but some things do catch my eye. Every once in a while, the giant He-Man, for example. Some of the giant Marvel Legends zombie ones caught my eye. And then, of course, a childhood favorite of mine, Gizmo. I thought this was really cool as a one-off uh, Funko Pop. I like these giant ones. And I thought this Gizmo caught my eye. Now, I said I was not paying full price for this. There's no way... I was hoping for a day it would go on clearance as this is a Walmart exclusive and that's what I was hoping for. Well, my lucky day finally came and you guys can tell me in the comments if your Walmarts are doing these too. I think it's just absolutely maddening, but you see it on my figure hunt videos every single Friday or early if you are a Patreon subscriber. Uh, but the, we're seeing Walmart wrapping the Funko Pops and other NECA type items, uh, wrapping them in those security tags that have the kind of spider webbing around them. And then when you take those, say you are to buy one of those, you take them to the customer service or the checker, they're trying to get it in, they're breaking and pulling on stuff. Very, very bad news if you are a mint in box collector, as I've seen so many damaged uh, products because of that. Well, this was no different. They had one of those spiderweb things on it, and they marked it down to $20 clearance. You can see the tag right down there. They marked it down because they tightened the spider webbing too much and cracked the plastic on it. So I don't know what Walmart's doing. I mean, I understand what they're doing. They're worried about theft, but not a lot of people can sneak out with one of these. Maybe the smaller Funko Pops. Uh, these are a little harder to sneak out with, but we've seen it all. Uh, I, could t I could write a book and maybe even produce a movie on uh, shoplifters throughout the years. I mean, I have so many shoplifter stories from back in the day when I was a kid working in a grocery store. And back then, man, the gloves were off. Our director of our store would say, they're stealing out of your wallet. Put the boots to him, put the fist to him, and that's exactly what we did. Young Kyle had a lot of time just beating the crap out of people in grocery stores. It was a really lot of fun. Uh, I can tell you some crazy stuff where I did fear for my life a little bit a couple of times, but you know, it wasn't like I was on the mean streets. It was the mean streets of West Des Moines, Iowa. Let me tell you, those are some mean streets, guys. Uh, St. Louis, Chicago. You, go, you don't got anything on the mean streets of West Des Moines. I feel like a young Chael Sonnen when I say that because he's always talking about the mean streams of uh, Bend, Oregon or whatever, West Bend, Oregon. I don't know what it is. But anyways, shoplifters, a serious problem. I get it. But unfortunately, damaging a lot of these collectibles. So I don't know what the answer is. I guess don't steal, and then we won't have those problems. There's the answer. Just figured it out right here at the table. Speaking of this table, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, talk about it, unbox it, talk about it, see where it goes from there. So let's start with the packaging on Gizmo here. We know these Funko Pops. We've got the Gremlins logo up top. Looks like 1,149. Now, I always get confused. I believe that means it's the 1,149th Pop Mold. Is that true? Is that the 1,149th pop mold or is it it's not definitely not in units uh, they've had like a million pops so it can't be that but i've heard that is the case somebody can correct me if i'm wrong somebody more knowledgeable of course you got a little glamour shot of gizmo down below he's got his 3d glasses he's ready for gremlins in 3d 
Gizmo down there. We got that price tag. 20 bucks. I got to get a deal. I think it was originally 30 $30, $29.96. So I did get a deal on this. Uh, and this did go away from the Walmart stores, at least in my area, very quick. It was there and it was gone. Some of you guys, maybe in some rural markets, might still have this guy poking around, but he went pretty quick. So I was fortunate to get him for $20. I thought there was a big stripe to go along with this, but maybe I just imagined that. But if there is, I might be on the lookout for that one. It does say Pop Movies on the side. Another image of Gizmo there. Same thing on the other side. Nothing too exciting. Just a, a jumbo Funko box right there. Oh, and right there. Uh, there you go. I guess to answer my own question, there's Stripe on the back. He's got his 3D glasses on. Gosh, I never saw that one ever in stores. Maybe I missed it. Maybe it's still to come. I'm not exactly sure. Or part of me says, is this Stripe a small pop, a regular edition pop? That could be the case. I feel like I saw small versions of this, but I could totally be dreaming. Somebody correct me in the comments. But let's get him out of the box here. Like I said, I'm not keeping the box on this, so uh, it's all good for me. There, geez, we're losing pieces. And I think, did I show it how it was cracked right here? It's cracked right in there. I put my finger in. See you later. Gizmo, get out of here. We just got a kind of a smoky background. That wouldn't be bad to save for something. I might actually save this. This might look good on the bottom of a Calyx, a Calyx bookshelf, of course. Oh, boy, always thinking, always thinking. You got to play around with that kind of stuff. Get him out of the plastic prison. See you later. See you later. Pshh, goodbye. All right, Gizmo's out, and we're done with the review. That's about it with these Funko Pops. Not a lot of people unbox these. I am fully aware of that. Uh, they just take up so much room, and I am not a Funko collector, so you guys get where I'm going here. This is a great desk display. This is great for a one-off display. Do got some head articulation going on, and that's really the end of the show. That's it. He's got head articulation, so you can move him around. But I do like this one. I wonder if these 3D glasses really work. I mean, they do look blue and red through them if you kind of get your eyes through there. Uh, but it's definitely Gizmo, and Gizmo means a lot to me. I love the Gremlins movie, probably like a lot of you guys. I even loved Gremlins 2. I can't wait for more Gremlins movies. I think there's supposed to be a, a remake or a Gremlins 3 or something coming sometime soon. Uh, and I'm here for it. When I was a little kid, you know, Gremlins was one of the first movies I remember, I believe, seen in the theater. That and E.T. and Star Wars Return of the Jedi were the first three movies I ever remember seeing in the theater. I know I was very, very young, uh, but I was all about Gremlins. Uh, you know, a horror movie, some people are scared of it. I don't understand that at all. It's more of a comedy kind of horror movie, but a very good one. It is a classic. It's uh, one of the few movies in my life I've seen multiple times. So I'm here for it. I'm here for Gremlins all day long. I enjoy the Gremlins movie. Funko Pop here. It looks like Gizmo, like I said. Got very peach ears going on. You got the little stripe up here, the white. Good brown color here. Uh, some of you guys may or may not know, I actually had a dog in college, a chihuahua of all things, and his name was Gizmo because he looked just like this. Had the exact same color markings, and uh, Gizmo was quite the dog. He uh, passed away many moons ago, many moons ago, but he was a good guy. But yeah, it is what it is. It is a Funko Pop. There's not a lot more to talk about this bad boy, but an interesting one. Not sure exactly where I'm going to put this. I'm going to find a home somewhere. I do kind of have a NECA horror slash music uh, display in our formal living room, and my wife just loves it, I'm sure. Uh, but maybe that's where I'll put him. Or if I ever go to the back to the office, this would be a perfect one uh, for the uh, shelving in my office. I think this would look good. Uh, with mixed with a few different things, like the Gorton's Fisherman I have there, Arnold from Predator, a few other good things, and of course the Ultimate Warrior Collection. But very, very cool. Not too shabby, if you ask me. For 20 bucks, I feel like I got a deal. It's like getting two little ones. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. $30. Not a deal. So I was okay with this. Maybe you guys are too. But did I miss anything? Anything else? Can you answer the great stripe debate of 2022? Let me know in the comments down below. You made it this far. You might as well like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on the newly launched Patreon. A lot of good stuff going on, including videos much, much earlier than we put on YouTube. So you got a chance to see some stuff early if you're in so inclined in a lot of bonus content as well. Sir Paul 64 is where you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Pick up a t-shirt, support the channel. So for my friend Gizmo, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.